some trades are worthy of a face cam and a side recording, not just my face <laughs> recorded on my phone. Uh, we're going to go over the, the McDonough to Tampa Lightning trade, and I'm not overly thrilled about it, but I'm going to try to be as positive as possible. Because I've been pretty, I'm not going to lie to you, I've been pretty negative over the Rangers' trades of Grabner and Nash. Uh, I'm not negative in like I hated the trades, I just thought we could have done a little bit better. This trade too, I feel a little bit, um, not all the details have been officially released, but uh, what is, you know, let me, let me just go to Twitter, let's see see if um, they say anything about retaining salary on McDonald, which if that's the case, then cut I am. Um, yeah, Detroit had a nice trade, uh, let's see. Oh, wow, huh, Jesus. What a dick move. They traded the poor kid. Anyways, um, so, let's talk about it. So, anyways, congratulations to Steve Eisenman and the Lightning on winning the Stanley Cup this year. Man, did they dick the Rangers. Jesus Christ, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. They really, I'm looking at it like, they really fleeced us considering the value they got back. You're gonna, it looks like you're getting half of McDonough's contract for a year and a half. So, two playoff runs with McDonough. The 24-year-old JT Miller, who's... Been killing it on the Rangers, despite having, you know, kind of a down year um, on a shitty team. He's he's constantly up there in points for us. It's just, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the Lightning, you Lightning fans got to be fucking bouncing off the walls right now. I certainly would be if my team just ripped someone off like that. Especially considering the fact that some of the returns I saw for McDonough and Miller um, separate in separate deals just from a variety of other sources, it looked like we'd be getting a lot back than what Tampa Bay gave us straight up. So, just to quickly go over it. So, God, I can't. Bad allergy day. So, Brett Howden was a first-round pick. He's 6'2", 194. He was a big center, which is what we need. I'm very, very, very happy with the acquisition of uh, Brett Howden. He was one of the guys I wanted. Uh, one second. Every time I get a thing, we'll just click, uh, click on it and take a look. Uh, okay. Uh, he was one of the guys I actually wanted. So I'm very happy with the acquisition of Brett Howden. It's a matter of, can he take these minor league numbers and put them on the pro level? Last year with the Syracuse Crunch, he certainly did it. But, you know, he's still young. So every, every, anytime you get a prospect, it, you're taking some sort of risk. But it's also good because since he hasn't burned a year of his entry-level contract yet, um, if let's say we play him the rest of this year or play him all through next year, he's not eligible for the Seattle uh, expansion draft. So we don't have to worry about losing him. So Brett Howden, I think, was an awesome get. Uh, I'm going to move on to Nemesnikov in a second. Yeah, I think Howden was good. I could see him being a second or third line center. I don't see him being anything better than that with the time being. Because Moose Jaw isn't terrible. At least I haven't been over the past couple of years. Yeah, this kid Burke's been going off for a couple of years now, I feel like. Um, and Howden's not really even up there. Oh, he played a lot less games than those guys. Um, you take a look at Moose Jaw last year. I mean, holy shit. If, if I'm thinking correctly. Yeah, they, they were ridiculous. Ridiculous last year. And you you got to worry, is Howden a product of Jaden Halgalobox? What the hell this guy is? Is he a product of this guy? Because that's also possible. And that's what worries me, but I want to have the utmost confidence in that he's actually a good player. Now, I wish they would have had a, a description on him on Elite Prospect so we could dive in a little bit more. Because uh, I... M- me personally, usually I'm really good with prospects having seen them play. I have yet to see... Uh, a Brett Howden play. Uh, I have not seen anything about him besides statistics and a couple of highlights. I have some kind of gray on him. As for Nemesnikov, ah, I'm not very happy with the acquisition of Nemesnikov. I know he's having a good year, but for God's sakes, he's playing on the, he's playing with Stamkos and Kucherov and all those guys. He's he's bound to have a good year, you know, and he's 24 year, 25 years old too. So you look at these seasons when he wasn't playing with those guys, those aren't that great of numbers. Those are numbers that we were getting from guys like Hayes, and Hayes isn't even that great. Um, yeah, like 16 points, 35, 28, and this year all of a sudden he plays, he plays with good players, he's having a hell of a year. So I don't want to look too deep into it. I, I certainly hope he's as good as advertised, and I hope that his, 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 his statistics are telling of his skill, not of the skill of the players around him. That's just the hope. Um, although I find it highly unlikely. Uh, if you just want to go to Cap Friendly, I'll just... Quick tidbit on his money situation. As soon as Cap Friendly loads. 
I mean, the fact that Eisman was able to pull this off without trading point, foot, or Sergachev is astonishing to me. Yeah, he yeah. uh, traded an RFA for an RFA base. It was a Miller being the much, much better one, regardless of, of stats. And I think Miller's stats are still better than Nemesnikov this year. Are they? No, I think Miller has four. Yeah, Miller has four. So, so Nemesnikov has four more points on a team that has collectively, I think they have like 50 more goals than the Rangers now. I, I want to look into everything. We're going we're gonna to make this very in-depth, um, considering the, the size of this trade and the fact that the Rangers are my favorite team. And I'm trying to see how badly we got fleeced. Um, so let's take a look at goals for. Lightning have 220. The Rangers have... Yeah. So, 46... Despite his team scoring 46 more goals than the Rangers have, he only has four more points than JT Miller. That's bad, you know. I, it, I, it is what it is. I can't get, I can't get overly upset about it. Who know? I, listen, I'm, I'm rooting for the guy. He's a ranger. I want him to do well. I want him to excel. I wish he was two years younger. That would be nice. Um, he's put up good numbers with the Knights, but you want to take a deeper look into that. Seth Griffith, Seth Griffith was tearing that bitch apart. Um. So yeah, Nemestikov. I mean, he's he's pretty good, but. I, don't know, I thought we could have done a little bit better than getting Nemesnikov. I was really hoping... If you would have swapped out Nemesnikov and Braden Point... Uh, now, I know people would be like, Oh my God, that would never happen. You're fucking crazy. I think that was... I think that would be a lot more sensible. No, Point's having a sick year. He's a very, very talented player. Um, you could argue he's a product of Stamkos and Kucherov, but I disagree with that because last year without Stamkos, he had 40 points in 68 games. As a rookie, I believe, right? That was his full rookie, yeah. So points, points pretty good. I th- ah, if you could have switched him out with, with Nemesikov and you could take back a conditional second round pick slash first round pick, and I would have been I would have been more happy with the deal. Um what about Libor Hajek in a second? I just again I just want to see maybe more details come out. I could release those to you guys. So Libor Hajek. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Again, I'm gonna go back to my issue with we have way too many defensive prospects. Why and this was said, why are we centering a deal trading our best player in Ryan McDonough? Slash captain. And arguably, or at least statistically speaking, our best forward. I think I think uh, Miller's still ahead of Zuccarello. Why? Why? We, we've, we've let it be known, not through our voices, but we've let it be known, just statistically again, that we have no scoring. We don't have good forwards. The Rangers haven't had a go-to guy necessarily. A consistent go-to guy in a very, very long time. And Gabbert was good. He had two 40-goal years, but that's fine. But when, when he wasn't scoring 40 goals, I mean, that was it. He just wasn't really doing anything else. We don't have that go-to guy. We don't have, like, now people are going to get on me for this. We don't have a, a Sidney Crosby. We don't have a Stamkos slash Kucherov. We don't have an Ovechkin. We don't have, like, we don't have a Getzlaff. We don't have an Oliver ekman Larson. You go through every single team. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now because, again, I want, to, I want to back up the things I'm saying before I get absolutely ripped apart. Every single team has a go-to guy. And I'll go ahead and name them for you right now. Samkos. Uh, you know what? Vegas, I'll give to you. Vegas doesn't necessarily have a go-to guy. They have a bunch of really good guys. Roman Yossi, Forsberg, Subban. Those are all go-to guys. Shifley, Line, Wheeler, Matthews. I'll just name one. Matthews, Bergeron, Ovechkin, uh, Minnesota. Minnesota, I'll give to you. Although you can argue Ryan Suter. Uh, Claude Giroux, Sidney Crosby, self-explanatory, uh, Brent Burns, slash Joe Pavelski, Jamie Benz, slash Sagan, Getzlaff, Goudreau, Hall, Tarasenko, Kopitar, slash Dowdy, Nathan McKinnon, Zach Wierenski, John Tavares, uh, the Hurricanes, you could make a case for Jeff Skinner, but I'll leave the Hurricanes out of this. Uh, Barkov, I would say Larkin a year ago, but he's not doing excellent this year, so I'll leave Detroit out. Uh, Tay slash Kane, question mark. Connor McDavid, uh, Carey Price. But yeah, but we're talking about skaters. You can make a case for Pacioretty, but they don't really have that anymore, and I can't make a case for uh, Druin. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna include Montreal, uh, Vancouver, Brock Besser. I'd say at this point, Eric Carlson, Jack Eichel, Al Reckman Larson. <sighs> Rangers don't have that. They don't. They don't have a guy they could lean on. Um, oh wow, good for wow, good for Hornquist. He got a lot more than I expected, and longer term. Anyways, just 
we have too many. <laughs> going to this now. We have too many goddamn defensemen. All right. I tweeted something out the other day. I named all of our defensive prospects. Um, you're going to see a lot of profanity on my profile because I was going off when this trade first happened. Because on the surface, it looked like a terrible trade. An absolutely terrible trade. Uh, so bear with me here. Um, okay, let me let me see where I... I gotta go tweet some replies or something. Um, I'm so pissed we didn't trade DeHarnay. Oh, unreal. You see me talking shit to people because people are assholes. Um... I don't feel like searching my phone to find where I named all these guys. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I I'm, I probably texted it somewhere. I'm just, I'm just so damn shot. I thought I tweeted it. Um, oh, here we go. Let's see. Nope, that's the wrong person. Um, let's see. Sorry, guys. I, I, I'm trying to get all my pieces in one place. That way we could just go over everything. hi yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. You know what? Uh, I said it in the Nash video. I cannot seem to find exactly where I... I put that because now I wish I had that now because I I can't remember all the Rangers defensemen offhand, but just, just I, I'm gonna try to do it offhand. I'm gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna count Brady Shea in this because we're gonna talk about Rangers defensemen in the next five years: Shea, Gilmore, Pionk, uh, D'Angelo, Graves. Um, let me go to cap friendly. That might that might help a little bit. I've got five. Um, I'm forgetting already. Yeah, going in the next five years. Guys, that could be here. Um, okay. Yep, okay. All right. Um, Barrett Glazov, that's six. Day, seven. Crawley, eight. N Pedri, we'll say it, whatever, nine. Zaborski, ten. Um, I'm not going to count Sproul. I counted him. Uh, and then you got Callie Anderson, who I believe we still own the rights to. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to yeah. Uh, Kelly Anderson, uh, Kelly Shallen, Tom Marie who's cusp. I mean, he's pretty good, but I don't know how if we can really rely on him. Rykov. We we just got a we have a bunch of defensive prospects. And oh, also, how can I forget Ryan Lindgren? So we get a lot of defensive prospects to center an entire deal with your best player around another defenseman. Now he's from the Czech Republic. Um, so I'm sure Phil Pedel slash Keitel is going to be very happy about that. Um, but I mean, he's very good at U20. I'm sure, I'm sure he's a good player and all, but it seems a lot to do. I would have much rather this Radish kid or, god damn it, Calfoot would have been a lot nicer. Yeah, Radish is good, man. He's got, he's a beast. He's a beast. But anyways, I mean, that's. In the end, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say right now that Tampa Bay Lightning won the shit out of this trade. Only time will tell if the Rangers won this trade. We will not know if the Rangers won this trade until like three or four years from now when we can when we can see where the picks, what the picks turn out to be, where Nemeskov ends up. Because I don't think Nemeskov is going to stay here for very long. Um, also, we got we to gotta see where um, Hijack, what he, I'm sure Hijack will actually be here next year, probably. Um, Howden, all that, all that good stuff. You guys comment down below your thoughts on the trade. I'm done talking. I can go on for hours. Uh, and then, yeah, you guys let me know what you think. And then, uh, we'll go back and forth and talk. Till then, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.